Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys my top tips, tricks, and hacks for the Cricut machine and the Cricut design space. And I'm pretty sure you guys do not know everything that I'm gonna show you. So if you are a beginner, you need this. Again, if you are a beginner, you need this. Even if you consider yourself a pro, you need this. So let's get into the video. Number one, clean your machine. To clean your machine, you can simply use alcohol and just a paper towel or any other cleaning solution that you would like to use because your Cricut machine will build up dust and other leftover sticky residues from your vinyls or your sticker papers. So it is important to clean your machine periodically to make sure everything is functioning properly. Number two, clean your blade. To clean your blade, you will need a small piece of aluminum foil and ball it into a small ball. Then you will need to remove your blade and stab your ball a few times until you feel the blade is clean. Again, the blade does pick up sticky stuff and extra vinyl as well, so you will also need to always clean your blades. Number three, clean your mats. I scrub my mat with a brush and Dawn soap and then I let it air dry. Number four, dowel settings. Instead of using the custom settings, follow these tricks. I use vinyl for paper, t-shirt transfers, and sticker paper. It works perfect. Vinyl setting for paper, t-shirt transfers, and sticker paper. I use vinyl plus in between vinyl and iron on for removable and permanent vinyl. So vinyl plus for removable and permanent vinyl. I use the iron on plus for HTV only, which is the iron on vinyl. Iron on plus for HTV only. I use the light cardstock, which has two tabs. Either or would work for glitter vinyl and very thin cardstock. Number five, level mats. So this only really pertains if you're using the 12 by 24 inch mat. And this is just the inside of an old vinyl roll that I had. This cardboard roller that looks like the inside of a paper towel roller. Um, and you can just sit it in the middle of your mat to ensure that your mat is level. If you remove it, you will see the dip between the mat and the table. And my mat is really old. Um, it doesn't stick anymore. And also, it's not dirty, that's paint, so don't judge my mat. This is for educational purposes. But as you can see, it's the inside of an old vinyl roll. And you can use it just to level out your mat. And this is how it would work once your mat starts cutting vinyl. And it, it, it would just roll along with your mat. I particularly, I don't use the inside of a vinyl roll to level out my mats because... Um, this way it, it takes up my whole table. So what I do is you see how my mat now is hanging over the table I just simply use a yardstick and this is a dollar yardstick from the Home Depot It works the same way. Um, it levels out your mat and it's a lot easier um, For me because it takes up less space this way while using my table. So again, this is a dollar yardstick from the Home Depot Number six, fold images in half. This is the easiest way to ensure that your image is smack dead in the middle of your shirts. If you fold your image in half and then iron your shirts in half, once you line up the creases with the image and the shirt, as you can see, your image will be perfectly in the center. Number seven, how to remove your vinyl from your shirt. To remove an image from a shirt or any fabric such as this heart that I have pressed on this shirt, you will simply need to heat the back of the image. Um, say for instance, you messed up, you don't like the image or the image is too small, you wanna make the image bigger, whatever have you. Um, all you will need to do is place your iron on the inside of the shirt behind the image. Um, this takes no time because the iron is really hot so once the iron heats up the image from the back side, the image should peel off easy as pie. So as you can see here, 
our heart will peel off and it took like five seconds once the image got hot so again if you mess up this is how you remove your vinyl or if you didn't like the way your image came out this is how you can remove your vinyl be very careful because your iron is hot so once your vinyl is removed or your image is removed you will see leftover adhesive on the shirt so be mindful of that number eight picture shapes okay guys we have now reached the fun part don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and now i'm going to show y'all some fun treats you can use within the cricut design space okay go over to shapes and grab three of your favorite shapes um i use the heart and then i use this flower looking thing and then i use the diamond shape and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change um, the shapes into photos. So we will grab a photo and then we will use our slice tool and our photo will be the shape, if that makes sense. So I just went and grabbed um, a photo that I had already had uploaded. And then what I'm gonna do is, because the photo did come in fairly large, I did resize the photo to a four by four inch just so that we will be able to see everything on our canvas at the same time. So always um, go over to arrange and make sure that your heart is in front of the picture. Once you have your heart or your shape resized in the front of the picture, um, then you could click slice. So what I was gonna do is use three different pictures, but I just duplicated the same picture because I could still get the point across with one picture. So once you go over your entire image, click slice, and then you can get rid of that shape heart and then the outside cut of your picture heart, and then your picture is a heart. Same thing, go over to arrange, send your shape to the front, resize your shape, once your shape is resized, go over the entire thing, click slice, get rid of the shape and then the outline that you didn't need off your picture. Again, with the diamond, go over to arrange, send the diamond to the front of the picture, resize the diamond to cover the individual in the picture. Go over the entire image, click slice, and get rid of everything that you don't need. And here you have it. We have our heart, our flower, and our diamond in the shape but it's a picture so this is a this is a nice trick you can use when making shirts um again this cut will be print and cut because it is a picture number nine monogram letters okay guys go over to text and once you click text go up under fonts and we're gonna find the font times the new roman so just type in times and it should pop up once you click times new roman go over to style and change it to bold because we want our letter to be bold um and then change the color to black today we're going to be using the letter m and make sure to do monogram letters you will need to use a capital letter so we're going to make sure that the color is black because Cricut always use the default color gray. Not sure why, but that's what they do. Um, and make your letter large. So then you're going to go over to shapes and grab a square. Make sure that you unlock the square so that you can resize the square because we're going to resize it to this long rectangle. And to center the rectangle perfectly in the middle, Go over to a line and center vertically and it will center it perfectly in the middle. Go over the entire image again and click slice to get rid of everything in the middle of the M. Delete everything in the middle of the M. So you should see grid lines in the middle of the M if you have done it correctly. Then we're going to go back over to text and then we're going to find the font sketchbook sketchbook that's one of my favorite um fonts when doing monogram letters for the inside of the letter um it's like this cursive but it's it kind of drags out the cursive if that makes sense um and i'm gonna use my sister's name uh, her name is manasia so shout out to manasia like i said you don't have to use the m this works for any letter so this is just a demonstration 
and then um you will need to bring the letter space in so that the letters are touching once you bring in the letter space click weld so that your your name on the inside of your letter is all one cut to center it perfectly group the entire thing um and then go over to a line and center vertically again so this is your monogram letter okay i'm gonna show you another trick grab the square again um duplicate it and i just realized that i didn't have to duplicate it like this yet but you, you will see the difference and make it this very very thin thin rectangle a very thin long rectangle and then just duplicate that once you duplicate that you can drag that down to the bottom like you did the top and then you can go over the entire image go over to a line and center horizontally to make sure both of the lines here are even and then we're going to change the colors to black the same color as our letter and then we're going to go over the entire image and click wilt so it's all one cut and then we're going to drag our name into the center resizing it so it fits and then this is another example of a monogram letter so i gave you two examples of a monogram letter and they both look nice and you can do them either way they both look good number 10 offsets i think offset is one of the best tools with the cricut i love offset if i could offset everything i would so i'm going to show y'all the ins and outs of offset so what we're going to do is go over to text Go up to fonts and we're going to look for the font Belinda. B E L I N D A. It's a cursive font. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use my name, which is Sharina. So, again, I'm going to use my name to show you the two different styles of offset because there is two. And I don't think people actually. Um, know that or I don't think a lot of people has paid it any attention so we're just gonna make my name a little larger and weld it and because Belinda is a cursive font it already the letters already came together close together and then we're gonna change the color to black because again Cricut loves the default color gray so under offset there are two different styles if you look under corner you have two options you have this this curved looking style and then you have this box looking style there are two different styles so we're going to click apply with the curved looking style and then we're going to change the color and then we're going to group it so that we can move it around so we change the color to this peach color so that it will stand out so to see the box style you will need to go over to Times New Roman, and then we're gonna use my name again as an example. And then we're gonna weld it and also change the color. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go back over to Offset so that you can see the difference between the curve, the curvy looking style and the box looking style. So the box looking style, I would say, is more so for plain fonts like Times New Roman. So you can already see the difference between the curve style and the box style. So these are the two different styles offset. But if you use the box style offset with a cursive font, it will also turn from box style to curve style. So again, we're still under the box font, and as you can see, it's still the curvy style. But if you move this little dot under distances, your offset will show, the example of how your offset will show on your canvas. So you see I'm sliding it and the offset is getting bigger and smaller, and now it's getting really smaller the further down I move this dot. So it's like a level. But again, we're still under the box shape, so but it is still curvy because I'm using a cursive font, if that makes sense. So again, this is the difference in your offsets. If you change the distance, your offset will be closer to the letter or it could be farther from the letter, if that makes sense. But also, if you move my name, for example, you can offset a offset 
So we're going to offset the offset and then here you are. See, this is why I love offset because that is just such a cool font. I mean, that's that's cool the way it looks behind my name. So that's why I love offset. I will offset everything if I could. So we're going to get rid of the offset and then we're going to go back over to text. And then we're going to type my name Sharina in Times New Roman again. And then we're going to change the color to black, keeping my name also in cursive. So you would want a Times New Roman font and a cursive font. And I'm going to show you how you can offset the inside of a name. So we're going to make my name as long as, we're going to make the cursive name rather, as long as the Times New Roman name, and then we're going to offset it. We're going to move the offset into the middle of the Times New Roman, and then we're going to center it vertically. We're going to go over the entire image and hit slice. Once you hit slice, get rid of everything that was on the inside of the Times New Roman name. So my name in Times New Roman, get rid of everything that was in the middle once you hit slice. Now we're gonna change my name that's in cursive to hot pink, and then we're gonna move it into the center of my name that's in Times New Roman. And you will have to play with it a little bit just to get it in perfectly in the center where the offset was cut out. And um, like I say, it, it will take a little time, but not too much time so here I think I got it right here and then we're gonna click over the entire image and hit group so that's how you offset the inside of a name and you can put another name on the inside you see how cool that looks like I say again I love the offset that's my favorite too is the offset well guys that's the end of the video I hope you all learned something new that you didn't know don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my amazing content. Bye, guys.